a very good morning dear friends i'll be talking to you about something which is which is something which has come up in the last few uh, years which is intrafocal reduction techniques in pediatric trauma i'll be talking to you about inter- use of intrafocal techniques in various scenarios right from the distal radius to the distal femur and how we can use them and what are the rules to be followed in intrafocal reduction techniques so the commonest scenario for use of intrafocal technique is the displaced lower end radius fracture in a slightly older child who has a grossly displaced fracture with median nerve symptoms the typical method is the kapanji intrafocal technique so you see this where you put a thick k wire in the fracture site and lever it out and then pass that same wire into the dist- proximal segment so you can see this this is how it has been attempted i first used a used a 1.8 mm wire but you can see that it is bending so that is the mistake which we did that it should be a thick enough wire so you use a thick 2 or 2.5 mm k wire and you can see that in a jiffy this this gets reduced always remember enter from dorsally what are the other fractures which can be used so that you can use it for a irreducible supracondylar humerus fracture you take a small stab incision in the tri- triceps use a mosquito or a hemostat turn it around 180 degrees once you get the reduction hold it temporarily and then fix it in the lateral view with the help of two or three k wires so as to achieve a perfect reduction you can use it for a grossly displaced proximal humerus fracture with skin tenting again go through the deltoid lift up the proximal fragment keep this k wire in c2 and then fix it additionally with two or three k wires so as to achieve a perfect reduction you can use it for radial neck fractures which are grossly displaced here you pass it keeping the posterior interosseous nerve safe you pass it in the axilla of the radial neck lever it out and then you can you can use the metazeu k wire in the standard manner a displaced lower end femur also can be treated in the same manner you can see that it has been taken through the rectus a thick wire is then placed and then it is lever out levered out so as to achieve a near for perfect reduction after which cross k wiring is done in a very standard manner thus there are a few simple rules to be followed in intrafocal reductions first use it only for metaphyseal fractures second use thick k wire or an artery hemostat and start always from the concave side away from the neurovascular bundle so thank you very much for this patient hearing please do like share and subscribe to my channel and for more details please comment please ask questions i am very happy to answer your questions thank you very much